There's a lot of technical info out there about LEDs, but very limited info for those that aren't technically minded. So what I want to do in this video is try to explain the different types of LED that are commonly used in RVs, specifically caravans and motorhomes, for internal lighting and awning lighting. I'll be discussing some, more, some of the more popular LEDs to convert RV fittings, how they came about, and a few interesting facts. I've been playing with LEDs for over 10 years now, and in that time, LEDs have improved immensely in terms of light intensity, power, and efficiency. The LED that we started using 10 years ago in the RV industry is vastly different to what's on offer today. Shown here are the most popular LEDs used for conversions in RVs. These are the 3528, the 5050, the 5630, and the 2835. Most people think these numbers are just names for each type, but it's more than that. The numbers are actually measurements. 3528 equals 3.5 millimetres by 2.8 millimetres, and 5050 equals 5.0 millimetres by 5.0 millimetres, and so on. It's the measurement that is used to identify the LEDs. There are also Cree and more like recently Cobbs, but I'll leave these for a future video. The term LED stands for light emitting diode, and another common term is SMD. This stands for surface mounted device. So what I'm going to show you now is a 3528 12 volt LED panel which has 48 surface mounted devices which is just shortened to 48 SMDs. The use of 3528 LEDs in RVs was the turning point to become a viable, economical and reliable light source in 12 volt DC systems. Over the years LEDs have just got better, brighter and more efficient. If you've got really good eyesight and can look closely into one of the SMDs you'll see a tiny dot. This dot is a single diode so on this disc there are 24 LEDs. There's another way I can show you this. I'll put this G4 3528 24 SMD disc into my test board with the voltage set to 12 volts. How's that for bright? Take a note of the power being used is 0.03 amps. Now what ha watch what happens when I decrease the voltage. Apart from the light dimming, you can now see a single dot inside each of the SMDs. Shortly after the 3528s were released, along came the 5050 LED and these had less SMDs but are much brighter. This is because each SMD uh, contains three LEDs. I'll swap these discs out so you can see the three dots inside each SMD. Now I'll wind the voltage back up to 12 volts. A lot brighter isn't it? In fact it's one third brighter than the 3528 disc. However that also means the 5050s use more power and as you can see uh, by the increase in the amps being drawn is now 0.07 amps. Ten years ago that increase in power was generally accepted because the 5050s use much less power than the incandescent globes being replaced. So the use of G4 discs and LED panels of various shapes and sizes became popular and normal for many LED conversions, the concepts of which are still relevant today. The popularity of the LED conversions in many caravans and motorhomes for the casual user, the LEDs performed very well. For long term users however, they started to see issues with flickering and some SMDs failing or failing completely. The reason behind this was very simple. The early LEDs had an input voltage of 12.0 volts, but RV battery systems often fluctuate anywhere between 11.5 volts 
to 13.6 volts or even as high as 14.4 volts when the batteries are being charged. Some of the very early G4 type LEDs were polarity sensitive and to this day are still being sold on sites like eBay. I'll just plug this uh, disc into our test board and you can see that it won't light up but if I reverse it, it will. To use them some of the fittings needed to be rewired. The better quality ones have a built in bridge rectifier which can be seen here so they can be used either way. The fixed 12 volt LEDs can be identified by the minimal electronics on the back. They can only handle minor voltage fluctuations within a few points but a higher voltage will make them brighter and hotter beyond what they were designed for and over time this can cause them to burn out. A lower voltage will allow them to dim thus losing their effectiveness for providing a uniform level of light. Dimming however doesn't appear to cause any long term damage. The LED industry recognised the need to produce variable voltage LEDs to overcome the voltage issues in RVs. The new look LEDs look the same from the front but from the back the electronics are clearly visible. Most have an input voltage range from 10 through to 32 volts and will provide a uniform level of light throughout that range. These new LEDs run cooler at around 11 volts. The electronics simply regulate the voltage so they can be safely used on 12 and 24 volt systems. Being variable voltage they cannot be dimmed. That said it's very rare to find light dimmers in RVs. For those that do have dimmers the older type LEDs are still available and to overcome the fluctuating voltage issues it may be possible to add a voltage regulator like this in line so the voltage can be set to 12 volts. This would then allow a dimmer to function. I recommend however that you consult someone experienced with a 12 volt DC system before undertaking such a modification. You might ask what older light fittings can be converted to LED honestly just about anything. I've even converted LED light fittings that have failed in newer RVs saving people the headache of replacing a fitting that could fail again. Some older RV light fittings require using a bulb converter to enable the fitting to use a suitable G4 disc or an adapter which are mostly for LED panels. Most halogen downlights use bulbs like this and can be directly converted with many of the G4 LED discs from our range and some fittings use MR11s or MR16 glass bulbs. We also stock replacement for these with multivolt LED globes. Fittings that use the T10 type wedge bulb can easily be converted using our T10 to G4 converter with any G4 disc from our range. As an added bonus all of our converters allow the angle of light to be adjusted slightly. This will enable you to direct the light to where it's needed most. The most common conversion to LED is the BA15 type bulbs. These can easily be converted using the appropriate converter of which we have three available. The most popular is the BA15S. This has a single point at the bottom and two even pins on the side. The other two BA15 type bulbs have a double point base and these will either have level or offset pins on the sides. The level pin is the most common. With the offset type, the light fitting may have a three position switch and originally used a stop and tail type 12 volt bulb to illuminate the light fitting at two different levels. Our standard converter uses a single G4 disc so there's no variation using the switch. All of the above are available from madaboutled.com. We can make custom converters on request wired to any combination of our cluster fittings. This would enable different strengths of G4 discs to be used by the three position switch. Due to the lack of demand and many options, we only make these custom converters on request. Just email your requirements to sales at madaboutled.com. <music>